Hey, you. Th Think fast. Here comes the gold team, Richard and Kyle. Here comes the blue team, Vince and Jennifer. They're here to play Think Fast, the game where fast minds and fast feet add up to fast prizes. And here's the host of Think Fast, Michael Carrington. Thank you, James. <laughs> and welcome to the show and welcome, teams. How you doing, Richard and Kyle and Vince and Jennifer? You ready to go? Okay, and here's how we play Think Fast. Our two teams will compete in a variety of mind-twisting, body-buckling events. Each time you win, you pick up 50 bucks for your team and a chance to solve our Think Fast brain bender for $200. Score the most cash and you're going back there to the locker room, our one-minute matchup game for big prizes. Everyone ready? All right, then let's go to our first event. Have you ever wanted to do something behind the teacher's back? Well, now this is your chance. Because in a few minutes, Mrs. Tillerwill will be out here and we're going to be doing things. Oh, she's here. We're going to be doing Michael. things. Oh, you don't listen to this, Mrs. Tillerwill, because we're going to be doing things behind her back. What we're going to do is when Mrs. Tillerwill is asking the other team a question, we're going to be throwing spit wads at the board here. Right. The blue team, this is your bullseye gold team right there. Whoever has five bullseyes before time is up wins. Mrs. Tillerwheel is going to ask a question now. Remember, when she turns her back, throw those spit watts and don't let her catch you. Go ask the first question. Who can tell me which president came before President Bush? Raise your hand. President yes. yes. What country is just north of the United States? What country is just north of the United States? Canada. Yes. How do you spell circus? D-I-R-U-S. Yes. In what state would you find Yosemite National Park? Okay, it's California. How much is two times two times two? Eight. Okay. In what year did Columbus discover America? 1492. Yes. How many days does the month of May have? I'm sorry. Is the whale a fish, a mammal, or an amphibian? <laughs> Okay, which is the fifth planet from the sun? <laughs> oh, oh, boy, time is up. Let's see what you got here. Blue has got one, two, three, four, five. Exactly. Very good. <laughs> Behind the teacher's back. Which means you two picked up $50 and the first shot at today's Think Fast Brain Bender. We're going to show you a rebus, which is a puzzle made up of pictures. When you can tell me what those pictures say, then that's when you win $200. Ready? Here's the first clue. What is that? I know, that's a tough one. <laughs> Don't worry about it because we're going to be seeing our brain bender after our next event. But right now, let's meet Vince and Jennifer. How you doing? <laughs> Vince programs computers. What kind of things do you like to program? Games. Games, yeah, that's what I play on my computer all the time. I may believe I'm writing on it, but I'm actually playing games. <laughs> and Jennifer is very outspoken. What kind of things do you outspoke? <laughs> do you I ever get in trouble? Opinion. She voices her opinion. Very good. We need more of that in America. And let's meet Richard and Kyle. Kyle likes to dance, and she likes horses. Do you have a horse, Kyle? No, I don't. Well, maybe one day you'll get a horse, and then they're maybe? even more enjoyable when you can actually ride one. <laughs> and Kyle, I'm sorry, and Richard collects comic books. What's your favorite book? G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, all right. He's a real dude. Very good. Good luck to both teams. We're going to go on to our next event. Girls, our next event is over here.
We're going to play a game called Rubber Chicken Blackjack. We have a rubber chicken here. We have some cards. <laughs> what was that? You know what I think? That was one of those runaway clowns. Yeah, I saw him on America's Most Wanted Clowns. I hope you got a good look at him, because in order to help the clown police, we're going to have to picture and put together a accurate description of that clown. I hope you are paying attention, because we're going to bring out the stuff now and see if we can catch this runaway clown. Let's bring out the stuff. <laughs> I'm going to ask you some questions now, and if you can tell me what he was wearing, then we'll be able to help those clown police, okay? If you know the answer, buzz in and then come over here and pick the item that he was wearing. What was he wearing on his head? Blue, come on over here and pick it out. What was he wearing? She thinks it was that. And drop it in your basket in front of your buzzer. Okay. What type of eyewear was he wearing? What was he wearing on his eyes? Anyone? They're looking, they're studying. They're looking and studying. Apparently they weren't paying that much attention. So we're gonna go on to our next one. What did he have on around his neck? What was he wearing around his neck? Get a good look at that. Let's see, we have a, a lay there and a lobster bib and a kid's bib. Any idea? Okay, no idea what that one now uh, either. What type of belt did he have on? Did you get a good look at that one? Okay, Blue, come on over. She thinks she knows what kind of belt he had on. Oh, was it a hula hoop? Okay, let's take a look. Let's go on to our next question. What was he carrying? What was he carrying? Okay, come on over, Gold, and take a guess. What was he wearing? Carrying, that is. Okay, was he carrying that? Okay, time is out. Let's bring that clown on, and let's see if they got it right. Here he comes. <laughs> All right, let's start with, what was he wearing on his head? The blue team said he was wearing this wig. Was it? No, he has on a red wig. All right, next question was, what type of eyewear was he wearing? Well, he had these glasses on, but no one got that one, so let's go on to our next one. What did he have around his neck? A lobster bib. No one got that one either. What type of belt did he have on? He had some kind of yellow belt here. No one had that one either. And what was he carrying? I don't see it. Oh, the hula hoop. I'm sorry. He has two belts on. A hula hoop. That's one for blue. Very good. And let's see what else is going on. And what was he carrying? Well, he was carrying a seltzer bottle, right? Don't shoot it this way. But you got that one wrong, Gold. So that means blue gets another point. And blue wins with two correct answers. Way to go. You picked up another $50 and another shot at today's Think Fast Brain Mender. Remember, it's a rebus, a picture that tells a story. Here's another clue. What does that say? No guess right now. That's a tough one. But right now, the score is blue 100. Gold not yet on the board. And we're going to go on to our next event with the boys. I'll talk to you girls later. some categorically speaking now. We're going to be speaking in categories. And today's letter is T. Every answer that you'll give me today begins with the letter T. And here's our first category. When you know it, buzz in. Musical instruments. Gold. Trombone. Trombone. Back to you, Blue. Trumpet. Trumpet. Oh. Hey. Oh. Blue gets a point. And we're going to change our category. Remember, T is our letter. Common boys' names. Gold. Tom. Back to you, Blue. Mike. No, Mike doesn't begin with a T. Gold gets a point. Next category, remember, T, parts of the body. Gold. Thumb. Thumb. Okay, another point for gold. Our last category, T, places on a map. Blue. Texas. Gold. Okay, blue gets that point. And let's make up another category. How about uh, girls' names? Let's... <laughs> Terry. Terry. 
Okay, Gold wins it. Whoa, that was a close one. Whew. Yeah, very good. So we're gonna take another look at today's Think Fast Brain Mender. Remember, it's a Rebus for $200. Tell me what this phrase says. Any guesses? No. None right now. But right now, the score is blue 100, gold with 50. And when we come back, each event is worth $100. So it's a very close game, and anyone can win it. Stick around. Here are some of the great prizes today's winners can bring home from a trip to the locker room. The Ray-Ban Smart Start Collection from Bosch & Loam. They're what's happening in kids' fashion. Serious sunglasses for kids who want to look their coolest. Available in various styles and colors. Smile, the easy-to-use Konica Pop Super features a focus-free built-in quick-charge auto flash and motorized film transport system, plus color print film from Konica. And you'll skate away on Veriflex's XP Series skateboard, elbow pads, and knee pads for fun and competition, plus the all-steel triple-frame Strata scooter, a fun way to get around. And now, back to Michael and a couple of rejects from Frank Perdue. All right, welcome back to Think Fast. The score is now blue 100, gold with 50, but now each event is worth $100. Now we're going to do some egging on. We're going to egg on <laughs> our people through this obstacle course of eggs here. What we're going to do is the guys have on these chicken feet, and they're going to put on their blindfolds now. Put on the blindfolds because their teammate is going to have to egg them on through this obstacle course by yelling right or left or left and right. The team that breaks the least amount of eggs wins. Okay? Chicken? All right, that's a blindfolded chicken. This one's almost done. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get ready. But be careful. Don't break the other opponent's uh, egg or any of their eggs because then that's bad. That's very bad. <laughs> so let's get started. Ready? Think fast. Guide them, partners. Help them out. Yell, scream. Well, Blue has got a nice, steady walk here. Boy, is he working it. Very, oh, man, what a move. What close and clever feet the Blue team has. Whoa, amazing. He's almost done. Yeah, Blue team. Whoa. <laughs> Look this way. Not one egg. He didn't break one egg. Amazing. I have more trouble getting up in the middle of the night going to the bathroom. I stub my toe more times. That was great. Well, that means we're going to take another look at today's Think Fast Brain Bender. Remember, it's a rebus, which is a series of pictures and letters that make a phrase. Here's another clue. What is that? No. No guess right yet, but that's all right. The score is now blue 100, gold 50, and we're all going on to our next event. We're going to do some memory matching. That's right, we're going to make sure these guys have a good memory. Take a look at this board here. These are eight answers to some questions I'm going to be asking. Eight answers. Memorize them. Memorize where they are. You got them? Because we're going to be closing them up in a minute. So when I ask a question, you'll have to tell me the number where the answer is hidden. Not the answer, but the number where the answer is hidden. Okay, let's close them up. Close up those answers. They think they know where they are. Close them up. Hopefully you'll have them memorized because when I ask the question, buzz in, and then you'll tell me the number where the answer is hidden. Here's the first question. On a hot summer's day, there's nothing like grabbing a bathing suit. Eight. There's nothing like grabbing a bathing suit and going to the beach. Yeah. All right. That's one for gold. Here's the next question. People flock to Paris from all over the world. To yes, gold. People flock to Paris 
to get a glimpse of the Eiffel Tower. That's another one for gold. Here's uh, the third question. If a criminal is found guilty, he could be sent blue. He could be sent to prison. Yes. The John, the restroom, blue. The John, the restroom, and the Lou are all nicknames for the bathroom. Yes. When your folks are too tired to cook, they might take you They might take you to a restaurant. Yes. Gold wins. Time is up. You guys got everyone right. <laughs> Very good going. And you got also get another shot at today's Think Fast Brain Bender, remember? It's a photograph that involves letters and pictures that make up a phrase. <laughs> Let's show it to him for $200. What is that? No. No guess, Gold? No. Okay. We're going to now alternate and take it back to the blue team. Blue team, you now get a chance of looking at the Think Fast Brain Bender. Let's show it to the blue team now. Any guess? Okay, no guess. We're going to reveal another piece and send it back to gold. What is this? ideas? No. Okay, that means gold. You don't get another, I mean, you get another chance, but hopefully after blue gets their chance first. Blue, let's show it to the blue team now. What is it? All right, that means we're going to go back to the gold team. Gold, take another look at it. Remember, it's a rebus. Okay, no guesses yet. So we're gonna go back to blue. If you know what it is, you'll win $200. Let's show it to the blue team now. What does it say? Bologna sandwich. Bologna sandwich! That's it, bologna sandwich. Let's see it now. There's a bowl, there's an O, knee, Sand and a witch, bologna sandwich. Good guess, which means the final score is blue 400, gold 150. The blue team is going to the locker room. <laughs> but first, let's say goodbye to our second place team, Richard and Kyle. You played a great game, bologna sandwich. That was the difference. And you also get to keep all the money that you've won, plus these great prizes, James. Richard and Kyle, you'll take home the incredible Franklin Spelling Ace. It makes spelling fast and fun with 80,000 words from Merriam-Webster. Franklin, world leader in handheld electronic Not reference good, products. Good, good, good. And with a computer calling the shots, you've got to think on your feet to win Bandai's L.A. Shuffle game. Everybody's doing the L.A. Shuffle, so can you. Only from Bandai. And Konami's Castlevania II, Simon's Quest for Nintendo. Search through a maze of mansions, graveyards, and forests in their quest to rid the world of evil. Michael? When we come back, these two are going to the locker room, and that's no baloney because back there, they're going to make big matches for even bigger prizes. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss that. They're going. They are going. And so are you. Back there. Vince and Jennifer, you've made it to the locker room, and here's how it works. There's something lurking behind each one of those locker doors. What you want to do is find six pairs that match. When you find a match, you'll hear a bell. When you hear that bell, come all the way down here, slap that button. That'll close up all the doors, and then wait until we'll show you your next match. Now, for each match you make, you get a prize. This is a great deal. And for each prize you make... 
we'll give you a prize. No, a match for a prize. That's it. Every match you make, you get a prize. Now, we've already showed you the wonderful prizes you can win for the first three matches. James, why don't you tell them what they can win for the rest? It's a rockin' guitar from Casio, the DG10 digital guitar. Features include 12 instrument sounds and 12 background rhythms. DG10 has 20 fret neck and sustained reverb effects. For high performance, it's Zenith in this 19-inch television with remote control. Graceful, timeless, compact style that will complement any decor from Zenith. And you're going to Florida. The luxurious Buena Vista Palace, an official Walt Disney World Hotel in the Vacation Kingdom. Enjoy crown-level service and continental breakfast from the Buena Vista Palace. Michael? Vince, there's one more thing I should tell you. And one of these lockers is a time bomb set to go off after 20 seconds. If you find it, we'll give your partner 30 seconds, but if it goes off, then we'll subtract 10 seconds from her time. Okay? All right, then let's show Vince his first match. Oh <laughs> Locker my number God. two. My brain hurts, my <laughs> It's a dumb guy. <laughs> That's your first oh match, God. Vince. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Think fast. Where's that other dumb guy? <laughs> oh, no, he's hitting himself with the rocks. Yes, a match. Come on back. Vince, come on back. Close him up. Let's show him his next match. A country singer. Where's that other country singer? He found the time bomb. Look for that other country singer. Where is she? Where was she? Where was she? There she is, a match. Close it up. Let's show him his next match. It's the clothing in locker number 15. Where are those other clothes? Time is up. Where was those other clothes that he was looking for? Come on over, Vince. Okay, they're in locker number 15, and where was that match? Locker number 7, that's where those clothes were. But you found how many matches altogether? You found two and the time bomb. Very good. So let's bring your partner on now, Jennifer. You have 30 seconds to find the remaining four matches, okay? Let's show Jennifer her first match. <laughs> it's a hunchback in locker number 13. That's your first match. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Go. She's off. There's a match already. Oh, close him up. Wait till you show. There's your next match. Oh, it's a party animal. A match. Very good. Close it up. The skeletons. Where are those other skeletons? Yes, another match. Close it up. Show her her next match. It's a jailbird. Where's the other jailbird? It's not there. Keep going until you find it. Keep going. Keep going. Yes, there's a jailbird. Close it up. Show her her next match. Everything! Everything! Come on over! You got all six matches! Good going! James, tell them what they've won! Michael, they won the sunglasses, the camera, the skateboard and scooter, the guitar, the TV, and the trip to Florida! Whoa! Well, you got everything! Let's say goodbye to Vince and Jennifer, our big winners. Michael Carrington saying, if you don't have time to think twice, think fast. Promotional consideration provided by Converse, home of the Converse Kids Collection, including all stars and leather athletic shoes. From shooting hoops to hanging out, the Converse Kids Collection is all you need. Enjoy hours of Disney fun from Disney's collection of brilliant animated cartoons, including brand new Mickey and the Gang, now available on video cassette from Walt Disney Home Video. And Fiesta Americana Plaza Cancun and Villas. Turquoise waters caress powdery white beaches. Masterful preparation for your dining pleasure. Warm hospitality from Fiesta Americana Plaza Cancun and Villas.